something special about you, Tony. God has a purpose for all of us, and it is not insignificant. I think God wants you to be a superstar. Tony Nathan was this guy who's just unaware of just how good a player he is. And I think that Gerald took it upon himself to put the mirror up in front of him and say, this is how good you are. You know, stop looking sideways, stop looking over your shoulder, stop looking at the guys walking behind you. Look at this mirror and see how good you are. And I will help you. You know what I believe? That you are faster than them, so you show me. And when I talked to Tony Nathan, he was like, it's kind of weird that people are making a movie that I, you know, about me. And he just, he's a very humble, gentle individual. So I think what Gerald gave him was fire. What do you feel but you can't say? Huh? What do you want to say to all of these people? You say it when you run, Tony. You say it when you run. Now, this is your moment. This is your time. Yes, sir. So you go and take it. You go and take it. Yes, sir. The psychology of what drives people with football, the psychology of what drives people with their faith or their religion is really interesting to me. And then it's about then taking that on board, respecting it, trying to understand it. And that passion is kind of what the movie's about. It's like, if you can use that passion that you have for football to create unity for the greater good, amazing things can happen. Because it's not just about, oh, that player needs to stand there and then run the ball there. It's about the feeling that we want to have for this movie, the feeling of what happens on that football field, not just about winning, but of this kind of movement that's happening.